guys it's Gabriel and welcome to my channel and for another video so today we're gonna be playing with one of my favorite oils which is coconut oil and I absolutely love this coconut oil for its smell its texture the way it looks but sometimes you want to make it just a little bit more interesting so I'm using the whole coconut oil not to be confused with a fractionated this one remains solid at room temperature unless it's very very hot but once it cools down it always goes back to the solid version so I'm measuring it with a pyrex glass because because I wanted exactly one cup and this is for my experimenting purposes I always cup it at one cup max so that if I don't like it I'm not stuck with too much and also if I absolutely hate it I will not have wasted too much oil so I'm gonna use the direct method which is pouring it into the crock pot adding my four tablespoons of lavender and infusing it that way if you don't have a crock pot you can always pour everything in a mason jar and then tightly cup the mason jar and put that in direct sunlight and shake it for six to eight weeks and you'll have your oil also you could also put the mason jar inside of the crock pot add some water and infuse it that way if you don't have any of this you can use a, a direct stove and you would put it in a pot and then put that pot of a stove just use very low heat and keep stirring it because even though coconut is coconut oil is heat stable we don't want to overheat and disintegrate the oil so always always watch it I'm gonna use the low setting and I'm just going to uh, plug in my crock pot and leave it there for four hours and let it infuse. And four hours later, as you can see, most of my buds are spent, although I can still see a little bit of color. And this is how you know that your herbs have been infused. They will turn completely green and lose their color. As long as they're still color, then it means they haven't fully infused. And this is obvious to see with something like uh, lavender. So filter it out. And ideally, you want to use a cheesecloth or some type of stocking. I don't know where my cheesecloth is and I don't have a new stocking, so I just ended up cutting corners but ideally you want to squeeze the best oil from the herbs and we're just gonna let it cool you could put it in the fridge but I just let it cool on its own because I wasn't really in a hurry but it's very clear to see here what the difference is it's infused beautifully and the fragrance is amazing it really really smells good so the next day it has cooled down this is like 24 hours it's cooled down and you could use it exactly as is it smells great it's still coconut oil but I choose to infuse it to give it that luxurious texture especially because I'm gonna be using it for my hair I want it to have a beautiful texture that works easily with my hair so as you can see here you just whip it for as long as you like and if it's too hot in your house the oil might become liquid and you don't want that so put it in ice water or put it in the fridge for a few hours before you start whipping and as you can see it ends up with a beautiful beautiful textured oil but also it smells amazing so this is how I'd leave it if I was using it for my hair this batch I'm gonna be using to make a body scrub so I added a little bit more lavender buds and then whip those in and I'm gonna probably add peppermint to it and some coffee and use it as a scrub so if I was using it for my hair I would not put the lavender in there because you don't want pieces in your hair but it smells amazing and as you can see it just melts instantly in contact with the skin and it has the most luxurious um, texture to it and also a little goes a long way as you can see you don't need a lot so I hope you tried this recipe thanks for watching and additional notes will be on my blog linked in the info bar below and I will talk to you guys on the next video bye